and all of them were from the nodes itself right yeah so let me uh start with question number one that i have recorded and if there is any uh you know error in my recall please uh let me know in the chat box or you can do a personal uh message on my telegram directly so that i will incorporate that into the final uh question that you will be getting through okay so i've tried to have the uh proper recall whatever was there yeah so let's look at now question one 52 year old man presents with generalized lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly peripheral blood smear shows small to medium lymphoid cells with irregular nuclear contours and cytogenetic shows translocation 1118 this was a keyword given to us cytogenetics is showing translocation 1114 sorry 1114 translocation we all studied we seen in mantle cell lymphoma isn't it yeah so which of the following is most likely associated with this condition they have asked most likely associated two options were very close here sox 11 and cyclin d1 answer would be cyclin d1 because of 1114 translocation there will be cyclin d1 if you remember i discussed this in the class also that you know if you are going to get two options cyclin d1 sox 11 where do we use sox 11 guys sox 11 we use it in cyclin d1 negative mantle cell lymphomas we don't use it in cyclin d1 positive mantle cell lymphomas if you remember right so this was the table from which this question came same same straight question translocation 1114 cyclin d1 i kept telling this you will end up getting you know either marker or the genetics of the lymphomas as a question right this was your first question from the class notes again repeat from the class note in fact i had given this in one of your grand test as well next question correct order of sequence of steps of pcr this is a repeat if you have attended my tnd this was a question in the tnd even if you have written the class test also there will be this question was exactly there correct order of sequence of steps in pcr annealing extension denaturation denaturation annealing extension and i think there was one more option of denaturation annealing extension and with hybridization remember for hybridization hybridization will be seen in in fish isn't it that is not the case so answer is first will be denaturation then annealing then extension we discussed this in the class and this is from the class notes and even we had discussed this in your uh, uh a tnd and class test as well exactly same question right yeah so denaturation separation of the strands is happening at uh, you know 95 degrees then annealing and for uh, you know primers bind and extension will be where you know a uh, polymerase will start acting so this was the question and from the notes itself again next question was true about rheumatic heart disease so this was a multiple true false type of a question Caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococci, yes, that is true. Ash of bodies are seen, that is also true. Then shows only myocarditis. This will be false. We know that it causes pancarditis, isn't it? Aortic regurgitation or aortic rupture, they had given, I guess, is most common. No, aortic rupture, aortic valve rupture, they had given, that is what people said. So that is most common. That is false. Most commonly, it will be mitral regurgitation. So, one and two are true in this, isn't it? Yeah. So, this was the question. Again, look at this. First thing that we had discussed, it causes, involves what? All the layers of the heart. That is why it is called pancarditis. And we discussed endocardium, myocardium and pericardial involvement. All three layer involvement separately, isn't it? Ash of nodule. Endocardial involvement will show vegetation. Pericardium will show bread, bread and butter pericarditis, fibrinous pericarditis, isn't it? Yeah, that is what will be, uh, uh, what we had discussed. Isn't it? Yes. Next. Okay, guys. So next, let us look at uh, next question. So what was the next question? Just a minute, there is some issue with the uh, I'm not able to see your chat. That's why.
Okay, guys. Then let us look at the next question now. Next question. This was another cardiopathology question. 24 year old male college athlete collapses while playing basketball is brought to emergency despite CPR and defibrillation. He dies. Autopsy of the heart is as shown below. What is, what is the likely cause and advice to your family? We discussed this a lot of time. So, you know, banana shaped ventricle you are talking about our receptor hypertrophy is seen here and left ventricular wall hypertrophy is also seen and a very narrowed ventricle. This is your hypertrophic. Uh, obstructive cardiomyopathy. So answer is this is a cardiac arrest due to hypertrophic uh, cardiomyopathy. Genetic screening of family members that is what is required here. This is not due to atherosclerosis. Uh, young fellows atherosclerosis don't suspect unless it is a familial hypercholesterolemia. Uh, but that also for that you will not see such a hypertrophy in the heart, isn't it? Yeah, there would have been only infarction that would have been seen. So answer to this option B. Cardiac arrest due to hypertrophy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, genetic screening of family members is required there. Next question. Next question. Next was, okay, a 12 year boy presents with multiple brown macules around the lips and oral mucosa. Actually, this is a repeat question from previous year question. And in fact, uh, we had discussed this in one of the TNDs and in the regular class, regular as well. So endoscopy shows multiple hematomatous polyps in the intestine, which of the following statement is true about this patient. So what's your diagnosis here? Multiple hyperpigmentation in the oral cavity. Answer would be with polyps, hematomatous polyps. Answer would be Pudzeger syndrome. Yes, correct. This is a Pudzeger syndrome. It is a young child, Pudzeger syndrome. Autosomal recessive? No, it is autosomal dominant in inheritance. Correct. That is wrong. Presence of congenital retinal hyperpigmentation? No, this would be seen with, uh, you know, APC uh, if it is seen. And a loss of STK11. Yes, that is what is STK11 or LKB1 mutation. And arborizing pattern due to proliferating smooth muscles on histology. That is also true. So three and four are true in this answer is C. Again, this is your class notes, which we had discussed about huge Zager syndrome in the class. It's autosomal dominant and, you know, STK11 or LKB1 mutation, uh, then children, then hypermelanosis in the lips and the oral cavity. That is what they have given. Multiple hematomatous polyps in the GIT. These two were given. Median age we had written was 11 years. Question was 12 years here, right? And there is arborizing network of smooth muscle dissecting through the normal glands and there'll be no dysplasia. This is what is a histological finding here. Pudzeger syndrome was the answer there, right? Yes. Next question. This n number of times I discussed in the class. Uh, this was very easy question. We had discussed a tougher question also on this. Okay. Let me look at what is this question now. So this is your a patient presents with microstatic hypochromic blood picture with target cells. Okay. They are given target cell. Hemoglobin is 12. RBC count is increased. Uh, some people said MCV was given, etc. But anyway, they had given Menzer index. I don't care even if Menzer index was given. RBC count is increased. Hemoglobin is normal. Then you start suspecting thalassemia minor, isn't it? Menzer index is 11. Then again, it's suspicious of thal minor only. What is the next line of management? HPLC. You want to major hemoglobin A2 levels here, isn't it? Yeah, microstatic hypochromic picture, hemoglobin A2 levels. We discussed this in the class. Next. False about retinoblastoma gene again. So, uh, false about re familial retinoblastoma was there. So, this uh, some people have uh, recollected it different ways. Let me anyway uh, sort out those questions. Mostly unilateral. Familial will not be unilateral. We discussed according to nuts and tweet hypothesis, it should be bilateral, isn't it? RB is a guardian of human genome. No, guardian of human genome is P53. RB is called as governor of the cell proliferation, isn't it? RB protein is active in hypophosphorylated state. Okay. So which is false? They have asked, right? One is false. Two is also false. Correct. RB protein is active in hypophosphorylated state. This was a confusing option now. So is this false or a true statement, guys? So just look what was given. RB protein is active in hypophosphorylated state. True or false? Answer is this will be a true statement. What is the job of the RB? RB protein is a tumor suppressor, meaning it will suppress the cell proliferation and if it gets phosphorylated, it loses the function. Very important. Phosphorylation leads to loss of function of RB. That means the active function or the active state is in hypophosphorylated, right? That is correct statement. Three is true. Oncogenesis is due to loss of function. Yes, that is true. In fact, three and four are what interrelated to each other. Increased risk of osteosarcoma. Yes, that is also true. So three, four, five are true. False is only one and two. 
Okay, so this is the one which people got confused in, in exam. I guess RB protein is active in hypophosphatated. Absolutely yes. We discussed in this in the class physiologically RB is in hypophosphorylated state. Only the cell, whenever it pro wants to proliferate, it gets phosphorylated. And in fact, we also discussed this. Uh, you know, HPV uh, proteins will end up what phosphorylating your RB. E7 protein of HPV phosphorylates the RB and inactivates this RB protein, isn't it? So active state state is hypophosphorylated. So in this, only one and two are false. That is the answer then. Next. This was a simple state question. Which of the following causes microcytic anemia? We discussed this so many times. Every time we were talking, Sita is the mnemonic, isn't it? Sideroblastic anemia, iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, and anemia of chronic disease. So iron deficiency, correct. B12 deficiency will cause macrocytic. Lead poisoning leads to sideroblastic anemia. And thalassemia will lead to microcytic anemia, isn't it? So answer to this question is 1, 3, and 4. Option C is the correct answer here. Next, we had one more question. Okay, which of the following best describes RAS gene? So, RAS, we all know it is a proto-oncogene. It is a signal transduction protein. If you remember from the image that I had discussed in the class, again, I couldn't uh, get that image here. So, RAS gene, what does it do? It constitutive activation of GTP binding leads to continuous MAP kinase activity. And as DNA repair, leading to genomic stability no dna repair is not by ras ras is a proto oncogene dna repair genes are your hnpcc that is msh mlh genes brca genes etc isn't it inactivation leads to loss of control of cell cycle checkpoints no inactivation leading to loss of control of cell cycle checkpoint will be rv inactivation or p53 inactivation that is tumor suppressor gene increased tyrosine kinase activity that is also false so the correct answer is option a here that was the correct answer Right. Next question number 10. A patient presents with jaundice, elevated liver enzymes. Okay. Liver biopsy shows onion skin fibrosis. So there is onion skin fibrosis in the bile ducts. That is what has been given. They had not give image. What is the likely diagnosis? Primary sclerosing cholangitis, primary biliary cholangitis, pri autoimmune hepatitis and hepatitis B. Answer, onion skin fibrosis is very characteristically seen in primary sclerosing cholangitis. Again, this question was there in the class test as well as it was there in your subject-wise test as well. And we discussed it in, uh, you know, class. Primary sclerosing cholangitis will be having an onion skin. Primary biliary cirrhosis will have, yes, florid duct lesion and granulomas can be seen on biopsy, right? Autoimmune hepatitis, plasma cell hepatitis B will show ground glass hepatocytes. Next question, fats are best demonstrated in pathology on, we discussed this again, it is a repeat question, fats are best demonstrated on frozen section, why we discussed this fat will get dissolved during processing and that is why we have to do frozen section and yes, once you do a frozen section, we do a oil red O stain, right, next which of the following is correctly matched? They had given match the following Prussian blue, iron and red color false. If you remember the image that I had shown you about Prussian blue, iron will stain blue in color, isn't it? Elizarin red calcium will show red color. In fact, see these are made nam named blue and red because they are appearing red only, right? Yeah, like Congo red, it will appear red. Elsian blue, it will appear blue. Then uh, even Prussian blue, it will appear blue, whatever we are staining, isn't it? Van Giesen stain, it will be elastin which will be blue in color yet yeah, that is false again in van Giesen, elastin will appear more reddish in color then gemsa will be mast cell purple in color yes for mast cell we can use either gemsa or tall blue toluidin blue both of them will give purple color or metachromatic right yes so that is what is your correct answer option d next one more question a patient presents with edema proteinuria of 3.5 grams and a kidney biopsy shows a segmental sclerosis in the glomeruli. Please try to recollect this properly. If this was the exact image was given or uh, uh, they just had described this. I do not know. Some people told me it was just described. What is the likely diagnosis? Uh, FSGS would be the answer because there is a segmental sclerosis that has been given to us. So these were pure pathology questions that were there. Few more questions which uh, uh, I'm sure will be dealt in pediatrics and other things. Uh, like uh, there was one... Uh, uh, Prada will lie syndrome, I guess, uh, but that was more clinical one. I have not taken that into. Then there were few more which were more clinical questions. They will be discussed uh, in uh, corresponding uh, 
subjects medicine or in uh, pediatrics so these were your questions any other questions that were there which i have been missing guys please tell me if i am missing any other question any other question which i am missing here okay so i'm not seeing uh, so yes there were few more questions which were integrated with pathology they were not pure pathology questions so i have not taken them here for discussion so i i hope i have recalled all the questions correctly here if any other changes please let me know okay guys so that is it from pathology section these were the number of questions from a pathology so i'll try to incorporate if any more questions if you give me as a feedback best wishes all of you so again all that you have to do is keep revising your notes you can see all the questions were from notes only